Hey everybody, I'm Doug. And I'm Sam. And this is The Bottom Line. Episode 30. What do we got, Sam? We're sponsored by Marine Data Solutions and Salty Rag Screw Apparel. Marine Data Solutions. No throttling, no contract, unlimited data. And no oil spills. Fourth week in a row, whoop, whoop. not one oil spill. <laughs> and Salty Rag Screw Apparel. We need a catch line for those guys. Yes. But let me just tell you something. Uh, I just got a report that one day they drove 709 miles. Wow. Drove 709 miles to deliver towels to a yacht where the owner decided to show up at the last minute. That's awesome. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Those guys are awesome. That is. All right, next. Uh, big shout out to the Swiss. Oh, I just found out we have 100 followers in Switzerland. Hi. Worldwide presence. Hey, Swiss. I How love the doing? Swiss. <laughs> is there any water in Switzerland? I literally have not a clue. I don't know. OK, anyway. <laughs> I'm really happy you're watching. And if you're watching, stay tuned later because Sam is interviewing a real old school guy. What's his yeah, name? Yeah, Captain Richard. Captain Richard yeah. is getting interviewed on this program. You guys are going to love it. <laughs> All right, next. So where are we now? Oh, where are we now? Sam? Boop. There goes the globe. And it looks like, oh, we're definitely on Earth. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <Hey. laughs> and, and it looks like we are in? Uh, Ocean Reef. Ocean Reef. And? That is our slip right there. So, if anybody who wants to bomb the boat, we are in Key Largo Ocean Reef Club. Should we really be giving please, our... Please don't bomb us. Should we really be giving our information <laughs> Yeah. Away? Okay, anyway, next. So, on industry news, yep. uh, we're a little over a month away from the Fort Lauderdale Boat Show. So, this is happening, gang. They are going to do the Fort Lauderdale Boat Show. Yeah. Here's a picture. So, when they social distance at the... Uh, are they going to put boats in every other slip? I don't know. I don't know. How's that going to work? Yeah. Are you going? I'm not sure. I'm not sure either. Maybe, maybe, maybe not. I don't know. So, so. I'm not in the market for a yacht right now. Okay, next. <laughs> so look at this. A yacht hits a fender system at the Miami Bridge. Guys, look at this. So this guy is, he hits the fender system and then his anchor gets stuck on the system, on the fender system and he can't get out. So now he's backing up. He's literally stuck there. It's hilarious. So. Uh, That's a bad day. I'm sorry. It's a bad day. <laughs> but bad I just day. thought it was funny that they're trying to back up and the boat's connected to the bridge. Like, oh, Only man. in Miami. <laughs> All right, next. So in the Boynton Beach Inlet, it claims another. A huge ground swell flips over a center console. Look at this video. Okay, he made the first wave. Mm -hmm. Now he's going over the second. All right, and oh, shit. I got to turn around because this monster oh, wave's no. coming. So he turns around and that wave just overtakes him flips the boat out, everybody falls out. Uh, the boat surfs down and it really does sink. Uh, that's the end of that. There's that's people in the water. And I'm gonna tell you something, a lot of people are being armchair quarterbacks with this one, saying you never turn your turn broadside to the wave and you never, you never uh, uh, turn your back, you always just go ahead. Well, I did a little video analysis, okay? And I want you guys to look at this. That's a picture right before the accident. And look at the top of that wave right there. Yeah. Those are surfers. Okay, so if the guy went over the wave, he would have landed on top of the surfers. Yeah. Okay, and now in front of him are jet skiers. I mean, what is going on at Boynton Beach Inlet? I don't know. All right, okay, so I think a lot of mistakes were made. One, that guy shouldn't be taking that boat out in those waves. Two, the surfer should be surfing at the inlet, jeez. No. Three, uh, the, jet the jet skiers. Well, the jet skiers saved some lives. But here's the thing, if that guy lost his boat, I'm, I feel bad for it, but yeah. he probably saved some surfer lives. Yeah, it's so, better than hitting a surfer. What a mess. Pool. What do we got next? Um, next, kill whales are said to be ramming and harassing sailboats traveling along the Spanish and Portuguese coasts in a series of incidents that have left scientists baffled. Okay. Matter of fact, Spain's closed this area off to boats 15 meters later. Look at these whales. That's a killer That's whale right insane. there. Banging into the boat. And it's not just one boat. There's multiple boats yeah. uh, reporting this. And these whales are literally attacking the boats. I mean, this is video footage of it happening. They've been, they found teeth inside on the hulls underneath. Uh, one boat got hauled out uh, and half the rudder, or part, half part of the rudder's gone. It got chewed up. Uh, I have no idea what's going on. They're talking about the boats getting spinned around 180 degrees. Oh, that's crazy. They're saying it's like jackhammers attacking the boats. So. You better be careful yeah, in Spain. Yeah, be careful in Spain. What the hell's going on? I don't know. 2020, what's yeah, next? Killer we'll whales? Okay. Jesus. <laughs> what do we got next? Um, next is scamming yacht crew. Oh, okay, Sam, do mm -hmm. I ask you for, when I hired you, before I even met you, did I ask you for your bank account? No. Did I ask you for your social security number? No. Did I, uh, did I ask for any personal information? No. I said report to work Monday morning. Yeah, Okay. 
So there's some people out there now taking advantage of new crew. They, they put pictures up of 100 meter boats. This is all great. Then they say, oh, the boat is in XYZ. And because of COVID, we have to fly you on the private jet. Oh, sounds great. Yo, styling in the private jet. Yeah. Okay, I'm all in. However, they say, well, now we need a copy of your passport to get you to get to give the pilots the, uh, the uh, information. Then we need to give uh, you need to give us your bank account so we can give you some money, send you some money for some incidentals. And by the way, we're going to send you more than you need. So when we see it, you can give it back. That's don't don't do that. Do you think they ever get on the private jet? No. Do you they're ever think scam they scam you and steal all your information, all your money? To new crew. No. Do not do this. Don't. If the guy owns a yacht and a private jet, trust me, he's got ways of getting you there without you having to give all this information yeah. out. So buyer beware. Seriously. Yeah, that's a, it's going pretty. It's pretty rampant these days. Okay. Yeah. Anything else? I think that's it for industry news. So. This week in Crew Corner, yeah. Sam is interviewing this real old school guy, Captain Richard. Yes. We're talking about uh, Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi. Yeah. yeah. So uh, look at this colorful character. He's going to give you his insights on yachting. <laughs> Let's take a look. <laughs> this week on Crew Corner, we are with Captain Richard. Hi, everybody on TV. <laughs> and we're going to be talking about how boats are restricting use of Wi-Fi and how crew members are saying that they may quit. First of all, you can call me Dick. Or some people call me Dicky. Some people call me Big Dick. Whatever you want, little lady. Are you got a boyfriend there? <laughs> no. No boyfriend? Yeah, wait, I do. I do. I have a boy. I've taken. Okay, before <laughs> I start, because I understand you want me to say some stuff, but we made a deal. You said there'd be drinks. I put my good clothes on. I want a drink. I thought we have a drink right here. Dear Lord, you. look. Let me explain something. This is low tide. Uh-huh. I want high tide. This is low tide. I'm a high tide. Okay, we'll fix that, Lori. Thank you, Lori. Mother of Pearl. Where did she come from? Are there twins on this boat? No. <laughs> All right, I'm not picky anyway. Go ahead. So we're going to be... Um, so what do you need to know? So we're wondering how you handle Wi-Fi on the boat. What's Wi-Fi? Wi-Fi, you know, it connects you to Instagram and Facebook. Insta what? Instagram. Oh, you mean Telegram. Here's how we do it. See, when nobody's on the boat, you row in, you go to the Western Union office. Okay. Then you send a telegram. I know you're young, you don't know about this stuff. And then in about a week, you get the, get the telegram back from your family. They know you're okay. Exactly like that, but totally different. Um, so how do you, how do you uh, hire crew members? How do you hire crew members? Yeah, how do you hire crew members? Well, you, you know, you use flags for communication. Okay. So, listen, I got this little chickie in the harbor. Mm -hmm. See, when the owners aren't on board, there's a blue flag flying. Mm -hmm. So every time I see that blue flag, oh, oh hey, you know, you want to make 10 <laughs> bucks the hard way? No. You got your blue flag up? No. So every time I see that blue flag flying, I get on the radio and go, hey, honey, you feeling a little blue? Let me tell you something. That boat ain't the only thing rocking that night. Now, if you want to hire a crew, okay, you get your good clothes on like I got here, all right? You go out to the bar with all the cologne, and you just sit there and wait for the girls to show up. Any girl that makes it till the morning gets the job. It's that simple. How about 15? No. I'm a captain. <laughs> no. All right, little lady. I think I've answered your question. Yeah. You got me my drink. I think we're all square here. Thank you, Captain Dick, and uh, let's go find out. Dickie, actually, why don't you call me Big Dick? I, I, I would like that. And bring the other one with you. Doug. <laughs> All right, everybody in TV land. I'll see you later. Is this going to be on the internet you're talking about? Yes, it is. Oh, dear Lord. I got to get, what do you need for that? One, some computer or something? <laughs> I, I think. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Oh my God, Sam! Oh God! <laughs> so what a character! <laughs> thank you, thank you, Captain Richard, for joining us. That was very insightful. Yes. And uh, you're welcome back anytime. Yes. So I think that's it for episode 30. I'm Doug. And I'm Sam. And this is the bottom line. You guys stay safe. We love you. Bye. Bye.